boundary is something that you set with yourself, not with another person. Once the boundary has been set and they refuse to follow it, we still feel this situation where they feel like they're going to be alone. They end up allowing those boundaries to be breached. Right. Well, I think there are two components to setting a boundary. So the first component is identifying what you need and then communicating that to the person. But the most important part of setting a boundary is maintaining the boundary. So just because you set it doesn't mean that it's going to be respected. And by the way, I should say this, a boundary is something that you set with yourself, not with another person. If this person does X that I've asked them not to do, then I know what I'm going to do. So it's a boundary you have with yourself. So you see how maintenance is so important that you have to be consistent every single time. Some people think that you need to like have the breakup conversation with your friend and you don't necessarily need to do that. There's this one asshole in my friend group where she ain't leaving because the other friends really enjoy them, but do things that I don't think are healthy for me. How do we reach that conversation with someone who is going to be there in our life if we want to maintain the larger friend group that we're in? You need to be gracious always, even if they weren't going to be in your friend group. You can simply not be available. You can simply choose not to go to certain things that they invite you to if you don't want to go to them. And if they're in the group, then it's up to you. You have to make a choice that... This person is going to say things. I'm going to react. My body will react to it. And I'm going to take 10 deep breaths and I'm going to center myself. And I'm going to remember, I am so happy that I've distanced myself from this person because I feel so much healthier that I am not responding in that dysfunctional way that I used to respond. 